Well, with me here uh, at our live position is the Labour MP, uh, Richard Burgeon, who, of course, is the Shadow Justice Secretary. Nice to Hi, see you. Nice to see you. Quite an eventful evening. Very much so. Uh, you've been... Have you been forced to call the, the motion of no confidence tomorrow? Because Theresa May pretty much put you on the spot. Well, if you put anybody on the spot, she's doing a good job. I don't think she puts us on the spot. She suffered the biggest defeat any government has ever faced in history. And this comes after all the other defeats. This comes after being found in contempt of Parliament. So she's turning losing into an art form. We've brought the motion of no confidence. And let's see what happens. Some people are telling us we can't win it. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Many wouldn't have predicted that she would lose by 230 votes and 118 Conservative MPs would vote against her. That's higher even the number of Conservative MPs that rebelled on this issue uh, under John Major. And by the way, if we don't win this no confidence vote this time, then we can bring it again and again and again if necessary. Each time she loses perhaps one of these votes and she's losing more and more of them because actually we need to get rid of this government. We need a general election. It's wrong. It's wrong for this to be going on. There's no way to run a country. Uh, can I talk about the strategy of it though? just for a second, because there were rumours tonight that the Shadow Cabinet had had a discussion about when to bring the motion of no confidence. There will be some who say this plays to her strengths because tomorrow we all will be focusing on the motion of no confidence. We won't be focusing on whether there is a plan B. So it gives us some breathing space. I think it was the right thing to do to bring it now after she lost in this un historically unprecedented way. Uh, I'd agree with you, but I won't because, <laughs> b because that would only be the case if we're only prepared to bring it once. We're prepared to bring a no confidence vote again and again to increase the pressure on this rotten, incompetent, divisive government mm. until they go. They need to go. We need a general election. But if they go, what is Labour going to do with Brexit? Because the European Union spelt it out very clearly tonight that the withdrawal agreement is not up for renegotiation. What more could you do to respect the vote and to deliver the kind of Brexit that people voted for? Well, firstly, the thing that Theresa May could do to pull this out of the fire is actually to put to Parliament Labour's proposal for a deal. So a customs union? Yeah, a permanent customs union, a strong single market relationship, no reduction in workers' rights. Well, there'd be no trade deals with a customs union, would there? But if she put this towards Parliament, I think she, we could get a majority in Parliament, we could bring people in the country who voted leave and who voted remain together. I don't think she's going to do that. What, what is, is clear, the point of leaving the European Union and staying in the customs union? We won't be staying in the customs union, we'll have a customs union. However, what's clear is Theresa May doesn't have any credibility left as a negotiator. If you're a business negotiator, a trade union negotiator, or a political negotiator, what's key is your credibility. She's got no credibility left. She has been defeated by the biggest defeat okay. any government has ever suffered. Uh, just a quick one, sorry to keep interrupting you, but I want to get as no many problem. responses as we can. Uh, Vince Cable was here this evening saying, the option should be a second referendum. If you are defeated tomorrow in this motion of no confidence, is that what you will call for? Well, that's one of the options further down the line. Uh, our democratically further decided policy. So not immediately. Our, our democratically decided uh, policy talks about all options being on the table. And yes, uh, a public vote, second referendum, because of the mess the government's got us into, is one of those options. But I don't think we're there yet. Our priority is for a general election so that people can decide who their MPs are, who their government is, who negotiates a better deal with Europe, and who negotiates a better, de negotiates a better deal for everyone who's been hurt by the cruel policies of the Conservative government. Richard Burgeon, uh, the Shadow Justice Secretary, thank you very thank much you. indeed.